Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Um, this is Kate again from Australia, brand new at all of this and I'm picking up so many ideas and tips from everyone I'm, I'm watching as I learn how to be a YouTuber. Um, I think I've already told you on my previous videos that I'm just a, a beginner at junk journaling. In fact, I've just been doing it a couple of months and there are many things that I don't know. The main thing I do know already though is I'm a messy creator. I love this, um, my desk, um, even if I tried to make it beautiful and clean for you, um, it will quickly um, just reveal itself as layer upon layer. So that's how I'm going to leave it. Um, the best advice I've been given is to just do me. Um, and so I want to be um, upfront about my style right from the very beginning. And hopefully that gives some comfort to those not brave enough yet to make their own channels. I'm just trying really hard. Um, I'm in a in an upcycle phase at the moment. I've done a um, quite a number of journals just recently um, using denim and I've fallen in love with the process of patchworking, going hunting for, um, you know, beautifully textured and used um, denim and again, layering all over the top. However, when I looked at this one just this morning, I realized that there's a lot of work still to do in this one. Um, and could I really face it and be neat today? Um, no, I could not. So I've decided to do something completely different. I'm going to return to a journal size that I've only done once before. And truly, um, this was my first ever um, junk journal that I made last year. I looked at the end of last year. I looked at it just now and thought, oh my gosh, um, you've you're so different already but I do like the size and it, it's it's holdable and squishy and squashy made from a um, Amazon package gee I wouldn't use that sunflower again um, but the use of text and letters and these colors is still true to me butterflies and birds and owls so it's going to be one of these uh, my inspiration for the cover is um, coming from, I don't know what order everyone else does things. Do you make your covers first? Do you make your signatures? Um, I don't know. So I just go with what excites me on a particular day. I was in Canberra um, the other day. That's the capital city of Australia. And I came across in, we call them op shops. I think in the States they're Goodwills. Um, this tiny um, denim jacket that it must have belonged to someone very tiny. But what attracted me to it was the use of these pin tucks um, and these tiny uh, pockets and this big one here. So I'm envisaging that I will end up with some sort of cover um, that uses this along with other pieces of um, that I've already pulled apart. Don't know what it'll end up like, but um, again, if you, sorry, I don't know how to do this. Um, I do just love this idea of, it's like holding your own jeans, but in your hands with paper and all of that. Okay, what do you love? What fabric do you love using on your covers? I'd love you to let me know. Okay, um, so I think I know so far what the cover's gonna look like the size and then when I was first setting out I was always curious about this word signatures and I didn't know very much about that but I know a little bit more now that I tend to start um, small and then it become the pages become bigger so what I'm thinking would be right um, will be um, just loose at the moment um, three signatures I've listened to many people who say don't ask for how many pages in each and I think that is right because I've just put different things in already and there are different numbers of pages. So let's just take a quick little, this is really just done before I started, lots of plain pages to go but I thought I'd you know, share some of my ideas. Um, I think the cover always has to um, bring attention um, and make you interested. So. I'm going to use this as a base, but um, very soon this will have a pocket or some sort of um, belly band that will um, speak to the theme of 
the journal. I've got plain paper, as I said. Um, I've only tried echo dyeing once, um, but I still love this idea of nature and leaves. As an Australian, I so love the land, um, influenced by John Olson's paintings. So this one has sort of got um, those earth colours and documentation and old parchment. Um, and this is a, an original um, document um, about the founding of New South Wales, which is the state that I live in. So that's roughly first, won't look like that when it's finished. Um, second one, um, in the same colour range, again from um, a similar book. Um, I do like this side, a bit more of my messing around with pages, some things to work on. I came across, this was a scrap from an, an older journal, so I'm just going to use a flip there in the middle and turn it into a pocket or something, and that has lots of stuff to do on it. And finally, I have my colours. Um, I love, love books, and I love using text, as many of us do in um, our work. And so my favourite um bird to feature is an owl because um, for me that represents wisdom so um, there and I haven't even got um, a mid build page oh actually I was trying um, a digital I don't use a lot of digitals anymore I used to but maybe this idea of bird bird um, or maybe a bit of echo over the top of that no maybe that's the wrong color um, we'll just see. Um, so not happy with that. In addition to those pages, things that I want to be using in this journal are combinations of papers that I collect. Um, I love music and something that I really enjoy is finding these, um, I don't know what you call them, but the records used to be um, um, held in them. So um, dancing to the gramophone and this this um, image here is, is joyous. So just to show how effective that can be over anything, let's see if we can you know, mix print and, and colour um, together. I'd love to use that. Um, love to use some manuscript. Um, this is about bluebells and fair rosa. So again, colouring and theming. A bit of messing with jelly printing, um, scraps. I've learned from everyone, don't throw anything out. So I'd like to use that. Um, I've got some old work of mine that I might end up snipping some of that. Um, collaging features in so again um, I might use that in a while so how am I going um, I'm in a mess um, but I hope that you're learning so look at this this is going to work better as a smaller piece of this let me see um, just to indicate I'm a tearer um, until I have stitching. I don't measure, um, but I think this could be a cute pocket or a feature page. So let's just think where was that poor signature that had nothing much or too much going on in it. I don't think they go. So let's toss those and let's just keep that in there as an idea that might happen. Uh, what else have I got? I love envelopes and I thought I had some envelopes here to show you. Now a little bit of manuscript that I'm going to use um, for tags. I like using bits of fabric. This is that fantastic um, Tim Holtz um, bit that features in lots of my journals and some different denim and strips. So if you're interested in um, seeing the rest of how this little baby journal um, uh, grows, it'd be great to have you um, join me next time. Thank you again for being with me. 
if you're interested in following my journey, it's messy and creative, um, but I hope you're getting the hang of, of me. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.